Today's presentation, we are going to see the error in chemical analysis. And there are two types of error. One is determinant error, or also called systematic error. And second is indeterminant error, or the random errors. And different types of error generally occur in the chemical analysis or by using instrument. And also by using the chemical which contain impurities. So these are the errors which are we are going to see in today's presentations and also we are going to see what is meant by absolute and relative error and after that we are going to see some statistical test of data and what is accuracy and what is precision. So today's topic is error in chemical analysis and uh, as we know there are in different types of error in the chemical analysis when we perform the experiment and different types of error can encounter and as we know uh, when the series of parallel measurements are carried out on a perfectly homogeneous sample the results obtained may somewhat they differ and therefore they are said to be a inaccurate so in the next slide we are going to see what is uh, what are the content of these presentations and these are the content that is we are going to see first what is the uh, errors and then after that classification of errors, determinant error, indeterminate error, after that accuracy and precision, absolute and relative error, statistical uh, treatment of data, in which there are four parts, one is a mean, median, average deviation and standard deviation. And uh, in the next slide now we are going to see what are the, what is meant by error. So we can say that each result is subjected to the error which differs somewhat uh, from uh, uh, differ from somewhat from this uh, other result analyst is always interested in knowing the what is the cause and magnitude of error in the measurement which is always present so therefore uh, to eliminate the error the uh, we may not be successful completely but error can be certainly minimized so there are two types of error, absolute and relative error. But what is now, what is the absolute error? So error in chemical analysis is defined as the numerical difference between the observed value and the true value. And therefore here it is shown what is the uh, error, absolute error. So here it is shown E is the error, uh, observed value minus true value. So difference between these two, we get the error. So, and now here in this case, uh, uh, generally it is expressed in percentage. So uh, errors uh, in, uh, occur are uh, generally smaller in and uh, measurement is uh, inverse uh, as compared to the accuracy and these errors is greater in the accuracy of the analysis. That is smaller the error, greater is the accuracy of the analysis. The errors are generally expressed in percentage and as shown here percentage equals to E upon T into 100 uh, is equals to percentage error and generally it is expressed in uh, PPT parts per thousand so it is E by T into 1000 then we get this uh, uh, error in a PPT means parts per thousand and now these are the errors generally occur in the analysis and we are going to see the classification of error in case of classification of error uh, as we know there are two types of error and uh, that is error can be classified uh, into two types, determinant also known as systematic error and second is indeterminant error or also known as random error and the first one is now what is the determinant error. So these errors are also known as systematic error. Determinant error is further uh, can be classified according to the way in which they affect the result and depending upon the system measured observed value and, and the instrument. Therefore, systematic errors are constant character, always occur in one direction and magnitude may change from one measurement to another. Systematic errors are generally caused through the lack of precision in some instrument and impurities which occur in the reagent. In correct usage of instrument, such errors can usually be rectified by changing the instrument, modifying the procedure, purifying the reagent, running the blank instrument and subtracting the value from the result. So these are the some example of determinant error and which can be minimized. So the determinant errors are uh, important errors and they are again further uh, classified into four types. 
and these four types are first is uh, operational or pers uh, personal error second is instrumental and reagent error third is e error in uh, method third fourth is additive and proportional error so what is mean by now operational and personal error these are the error uh, and uh, uh, which occur and uh, for which individual uh, analyst is not responsible and connected with the method or uh, it is not connected with the method or procedure they form the part of personal equa equation of observer the result out of ignorance or carelessness of the analyst they are physical in nature occur when proper analytical technique is not followed examples are non representative sampling mechanical loss of material in various steps of analysis introduction of foreign materials under washing or over washing of precipitate ignition of precipitate at incorrect temperature insufficient cooling of crucible before weighing allowing hygroscopic material to absorb moisture before or during the weighing use of reagent containing the harmful impurities error in calculation all these are the examples of this type of error and now what is the personal error personal error may arise from the constitutional inability of an individual to make certain observation accurately therefore some persons are unable to judge color changes sharply in visual titration which may result in a slight overstepping of the end point and therefore during titration also either is in contact some are writing 10.5 some are writing 10 some some are writing 10.1 like that so uh, in reading also the color change in the titration and uh, the error is there uh, during the judgment and uh, second type is the instrumental or reagent error and uh, these errors may originate in the instrument itself or may arise from the uh, effect of environmental factor on the instrument errors in weighing arises from the fact, uh, faulty in construction of balances the use of uncalibrated or improperly calibrated weights graduated glassware and other instruments the attack of reagent upon glassware porcelain uh, pieces are resulting in the introduction of foreign material and the use of reagent containing impurities are the example of this type of errors so this is the second type instrumental and reagent errors and third one is error in method sometimes error is also encountered during the um, procedure or during the method and if the method is also faulty then these errors encounter so in this case these uh, errors originate from the incorrect sampling and from incompleteness of the reaction for example in the geometric analysis error may arise owing to the appreciable solubility of the precipitate co-precipitation and post-precipitation decomposition volatilization of wing forms of ignition and precipitation of substances other than intended one therefore in tetrametric analysis error may occur due to the failure of reaction to proceed to completion and occurs of side reaction also and therefore uh, these errors are encountered during analysis and during the reaction and third is the additive and proportional error the absolute value of additive error is independent of the amount of constituent present in the determination an example of additive error are loss in weight of crucible in which the precipitate is ignited also another example is error in weight solubility of precipitate titration error are the example of additive error and second is a, a proportional error so absolute value of proportional error depends upon amount of constituent therefore proportional error may arise from an impurity in the standard substance which leads to an incorrect value of for the molarity in standard solution and therefore uh, proportional error may not vary linearly with the amount of constituent but with the at least exhibit and increase with the amount of constituent present so this is additive and proportional error so, and uh, uh, next slide shows the second type of error that is determinant error which is also known as random error and these uh, errors manifest themselves by the slight variation that occur in successive measurement made by the same observer or analyst with the greatest care under nearly identical condition as possible they are due to causes over which analysis has no control these errors are irregular and generally small 
This can be reproduced and accompany every determination. The mean value of the random error does not distort the result as compared to the correct value. For example, variation in room temperature and other environmental factors also introduce random error in analytical work. These errors can be minimized by careful manipulation, keeping the environmental condition as constant as possible. And these are these errors are generally two types. And these two types are variation in determinant error and secondly erratic error. So what do you mean by variation in determinant error? These uh, errors occur when the analyst does not uh, condition sufficiently closely to the to determine the error, prevent it from the vary. For example, ignition in precipitate of aluminium hydroxide to constant weight and analyst may obtain successive values which vary without defin uh, definite trend. This variation, uh, uh, variation could be due to the varying amount of water in the weighing residue of aluminium oxide. Uh, there are appreciable weight change in hygroscopic aluminium oxide due to this slightly different period of ignition, exposure to the atmosphere and cooling in the desiccator. So this error may, this is the due to the change in temperature variation in determinant error is occur. And second type is the erratic error. Uh, analyst has no control over this erratic error. It is very difficult to pinpoint such type of error. And the analyst is practically unaware of their presence. For example, weighing with the sensitive balance subjected to vibration which show erratic error. The proper mounting of the balance can however minimize this type of error. So this is called erratic error, the serious error, difficult to uh, control these errors. And uh, so these are different types of errors and in the next slide we are going to see the what is accuracy of the result and what is the precision of the result. So the accuracy of determination may be defined as the concordance between it and the true or most probable value or it may also be defined as correctness of the measured quantity in comparison with the standard or accepted values. Therefore, it shows that systematic error causes a constant error and thus affect accuracy of the result. For analytical methods, there are two possible ways to determine the accuracy that is absolute method and the comparative method. So what is precision now? Precision refer to the uh, variability among replicate measurement of the same quantity. It is defined as the degree of reproducibility of a series of measurement of the same property. That is, a result is said to be precise if number of parallel determination of the same property agree well. Also, it may be defined as concordance of series of measurement of the same quantity. Accuracy expresses the correctness of measurement. What is here now? Important point is that accuracy express correctness of a measurement and precision the reproducibility of the measurement. Precision always accompany accuracy, but high degree of precision does not imply accuracy. For example, now here we can give consider two set of three determinations, each by different analyst, and uh, one reporting uh, values 34.48, 34.47, and 34.49 percent halogen in the halide sample. And other analysts reporting 34.58, 34.42, and 34.62%. The variation in the first set of analysis is less as compared to the second set of data. Therefore, result of first set are therefore we can say that it is more precise. The measurement should give precise and the same time accurate, uh, accurate result. Precision of measurement is very important because it is common experience that precise result with small systematic variation are often more useful than result with the accurate mean value but low precision. And therefore, it should be a desire of uh, an analytical chemist to achieve acceptable precision and accuracy in all this work. And now, reproducibility is another property which must be taken into consideration in chemical analysis. Reproducibility uh, means the stability of precision, um, uh, uh, precision of the variation of the sample composition. Precision varies with the uh, composition of the sample, but variation should always be regular. And so this is the precision and uh, 
accuracy so result obtained are accurate but it is not precise but all the precision results are uh, precise results are accurate so this is these are the two terms uh, one is a accuracy and another is precision now after this we are going to see uh, in case of error what is meant by absolute and relative error so absolute error of measurement is a numerical difference between the true value and observed value therefore absolute error d is defined as difference between the observed value and the true value uh, shown here the d is the d is the absolute error and x minus mu or uh, it is also expressed and uh, this is the formula and uh, absolute error can be positive if x is greater than mu and negative if x is less than mu sometimes absolute error is expressed by the absolute value without respect of the sign absolute error are expressed in same unit as true value or observed value shows and now relative error uh, symbol is e which is defined as the ratio of absolute error and the true value here it is shown the value this is the e is the relative error d by mu or d equals to x minus mu upon mu so this is the formula and uh, generally it is expressed in ppt parts per thousand and preferably in ppt avoid the confusion of absolute error which is which are also expressed in percent and uh, so these are the two formula to determine absolute error and the relative error so uh, this is the relative error that uh, expressed is uh, as a percentage or in parts per thousand the relative maxima uh, and the formula is shown how to find the value e is equals to mu minus x upon mu into thousand parts per uh, ppt so e is equals to the relative error and d is the absolute error and uh, in the next part we are going to see uh, this is the uh, one example uh, to find the value of absolute and relative error so a uh, samples of stainless steel was analyzed for its iron content the result in percentage of chlorine chromium in two experiment are 18.20 and 18.30 if the true value of iron content is 18.28 percent calculate the absolute and the relative error in parts per thousand so in the true value is given and absolute value are 18.20 percent and uh, therefore and uh, here two values are given so absolute errors are uh, can be determined between the observed value and the true value so 18.20 minus 18.28 and then 18.30 it uh, minus 18.28 so this is the true value so uh, observed value minus true value we obtain this true value absolute error and the relative error in ppt formalize absolute error upon true, uh, true value in 2000 so put the value here and we calculate this value and uh, so for second value uh, this is the answer in parts per thousand one is positive and second is negative so in this way we can calculate the absolute error and the relative error in ppt and uh, next uh, we are going to see the important part of this uh, is the statist uh, statistical treatment of the data and in this case of statistical treatment of data we are going to see uh, the four important part and here fundamental statistical concept must be clear to every analytical chemist and mathematical calculation offer the method for determination of criteria of accuracy and precision therefore it help in the assessment of analytical result therefore the statistical methods are employed in interpreting the average of the result obtained in the replicate determination and therefore uh, uh, four important part are there one is mean second is median third is average deviation and for this uh, 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 that is the standard deviation and uh, out of that four one is we are going to see that is mean what is mean now uh, also known as the average mean is the mathematical average of the replicate determination and average value that is symbol is x bar is the obtained by adding the replicate result of and uh, dividing the sum by total number of determination so here it is shown uh, that is x bar x bar is the symbol for mean and these are the replicate values x1 x2 x3 up to xn and total number of values so x1 x2 xn are the replicate determination or observations and consider for example here we are going to see the example that uh, given uh, the uh, result given below are the replicate determination of chloride in the metal chloride 
So x1, x2, x3, x4 values are given. Four determinations are there. Four replicate values are there. So mean can be determined. X bar equal to sum of the four uh, measurement uh, values upon total number of values four. And after adding and taking the mean divided by four, we get the average 32.46 percent chloride. So in this way, the mean of the uh, replicate measurement or determination can be calculated. So this is the average or mean of the replicate determination and is more reliable than value obtained by single determination and uh, remaining mean median uh, that is the uh, remaining terms median average deviation standard deviation we are going to see in the next part of the presentations and uh, so today we have seen the different types of error what is absolute error what is relative error and different types of error determinant error and indeterminant error and after that we have seen the statistical test of data one is a mean and the remaining part that is median average deviation standard deviation we are going to see in the next part so here important part also is there that is what is accuracy of the result and the precision so accuracy and precision are the important terms